I try to keep this project as simple as possible so you can focus on the map component. There's lots to learn. MK map view, MK annotation, MK pin annotation view, CA location at coordinate 2D, and so on. And all must be used before you get a finished product. Again, we've only already scratched the surface of what maps can do in iOS, but that gives you more room to extend the app yourself. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, try typecasting the return value from DQ reusable annotation view. So it's an MK pin annotation view. Once that's done, change the pin tint color property to your favorite UI color. Second, add a UI alert controller that lets users specify how they want to view the map. There's a map type property that draws the maps in different ways. For example, dot satellite gives a satellite view of the terrain. And third, for something bigger, modify the callout button so pressing it shows a new view controller with a web view, taking users to the Wikipedia entry for that city.